Don't make me do math. <laughs> Patty's got her because she's got her magic <laughs> wand. <laughs> so Pepper Day, yeah. we are in the front of number three. We are starting with our red peppers, red bell peppers, red bell peppers. But we're having normally on an outside row, we only do one layer or one row. We don't stagger. No. This time, because. We need to jam in as much as we can for now. We're gonna stagger, so we're doing. Yes. Yeah. And, and we're going about that long. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So we're so. gonna cram them in and keep them maintained and hopefully get a good yield out of them. So do you wanna show them how we plant? Okay, this is, oh. these are in the jiffy pucks as well. Oh yes. So first of all, we're gonna open the plastic up as wide as possible because we don't want the leaves of these to hit the plastic at all when the uh, sun comes out. If the sun the comes heat out. heat will burn them. So we've got our reds. That one didn't germinate as you can see. So <clears throat> you can see the roots coming out but again that is not like we normally have for uh, for the root system. So I'm just going to open it up a little bit gently and go down. With the peppers you can go down a little bit further. You don't, not like, I'm not going to go down as deep as we plant tomatoes, but I'm going to go down a little further than what we do the uh, cucumbers. So, dig down. We always have a plan for what we're going to do, and it seems like it's going to go so smooth until the next morning. <laughs> and then we have to think. There. And we're just going to continue. So we've got, we'll be able to fit 35 in here. These are not the greenhouse variety, by the way. These are, well, they are greenhouse, but they're um, they're just the bush pepper. They're not the, the tall ones. Um, we decided to try these this year. These are called Red Ace. Um, same as the uh, beets, actually, are Red Ace that we used, and these are Red Ace peppers. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to continue doing this, and... Well, we show your beautiful face. Oh my God. <laughs> Say good morning. I good wake morning. up looking this good. <laughs> <laughs> so it's yeah. just, just natural, right? <laughs> so what are we going to do? We're going to do reds, and I think we're going to do some purple peppers, and which are the islander peppers. Yes, and we have whites that aren't ready and oranges that aren't ready. Yeah. So, so we'll do them. Quite. So we'll wait and see. I think we could plant them if we keep the plastic well away from... From that so that's our yeah. dilemma we'll be right back okay <laughs> so we change of plans yeah, <laughs> we've decided and it is very easy actually so i was breaking it but instead of disturbing the root too much i'm just going to pull this mesh stuff off the jiffy puck and then expose the roots like that and i think that'll work way better and more gooder not more better, <laughs> more gooder, <laughs> more gooder, and not um, disturb the root system too much. So let's just see how that goes. And so I've said this before: the jiffies are not my thing at all. I like growing in the dirt. Inhale, eh, yeah, it's way better. And just get rid of that mesh. That is just going to keep the root system in a ball and not let it do its thing as well. So there we go. So there, ta-da. So we'll get back when these are all done. Okay, so there are the peppers planted. And we still have some left, so they're gonna go down in our other greenhouses once they're up later on. We have a lot left, we have a lot of reds left. Yes. So how many do we have in here? Let's see. 130-ish, yeah, around there. So there, greenhouse number three, uh, number three. three is completely planted. Completely planted. Grow babies. And show them some of these. We oh, don't normally yeah. plant. Generally, we take <laughs> our plugs when they're planted in soil and put them into six inch, uh, the six packs like this, like that. And then we let them grow bigger before we transplant. These were little tiny things that we're doing absolutely 
nothing, but we're going to just take our chance and hope they grow. So the colored peppers are all smaller. The red peppers are a nice, nice size, but yeah. And it's not a sunny day, so it was a perfect time to, time transplant. to transplant. They're kind of droopy, but that's just because we disturbed them. So they will. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Every time we try something new, it always works. Yeah. So. So let's just hope that it does again. Yeah. So let's go up to number one and show, actually number one and two and give them an update of our plants up there. Okay. So now we are in number one and we're going to show you an update on stuff. But here are the lunchbox peppers. They are going to be going down into the new greenhouses. So I'll show you Patty is going to be filling the six packs and we're going to transplant them into these so they can grow a bit more before we transplant them like the ones in number three we just yeah, showed you and they weren't planted in the, the jiffy packs no, no they're just they're just planted in the soil so that's what we yeah. usually do with the peppers but we just tried it down below to see how they do and I think they're gonna be fine yeah and we, you can show them our basil too here's a couple that we don't have planted okay the basil is doing very nice and that's a basil pot Patty did for her mama. But it's got to grow a little it's bit. got to grow a bit more. And then we just plunk them into four inches. How come there's hey, some missing? Are, I was just going to say, why are there four empty? <laughs> okay, so this is how we do it, guys. <laughs> These just pop out like super easy. And then we go like this. Actually, I'll just set them down. And in. And whenever you plant your basil, don't plant it down too far. We keep the top of the plug kind of at ground they do like ground. to be a bit dry so they don't rot off. Yeah, because that's exactly what happens. And again, we aren't gentle. There, ta-da! So I think we still have another... You have a Is whole new... All? No, you have that one coming up. Oh yeah, the other one coming up, but that's all in the 50 trays. Right? Yes. And then here's just a look at our onions that have been trimmed. These are the big ones. And they're going just in the field or under? Yeah, those are going into um, like raised beds in the field. Okay. And these are onions or leeks? Those are all leeks. The dark green ones. Leeks. They all have to, we'll trim them at some point. So we just trim them because that gives them better growing. Better bulbs. Better bulbs. They get bigger. And yeah, it's pretty full in here. So. Well, actually, it's not now because well, we just we got rid of stuff. A but. Of stuff. Uh, our blueberries they're uh they're coming. coming slow but sure our rhubarb is massive which we have to put all that outside but we're down to one degree tomorrow night so we're going to keep it inside until then yes and uh harden off so that's it for number one and then we'll show them number <laughs> two. Oh yeah we'll do the or well when we go and prune yeah. We'll show them. Yeah. We'll be doing that next, so we'll see you then. Okay. You ready? This is Haley's first time doing it this year. <clears throat> so, last week, Roman, Roman, come here. Out. Get out. So, last week, um, you remember when we strung these um, tomatoes and then started clipping them? Well, now they've grown that much and we're gonna have to clip again and take off suckers so that's what we're going to do if you wanted to see how uh, we did this in the beginning just go to uh, trellising tomatoes it was a couple videos back and you will see the technique of that so is that it for today Hale? I think so. You think so? Yeah we got uh, a lot of little work to do so we're gonna get on to this and uh, we will see you maybe tomorrow. All right. Bye.